Yes, about the Dr. Barve, sir. Yes, uh, so. So, uh, good morning and great morning to uh, Dr. Barve, sir. And, Hello, sir. Uh, yeah, and our uh, participant students, faculties, and also as Savaradikar sir has told that Parshurami Madam has also shown the interest that she want to join. So, uh, I will not take the too much time. Uh, Dr. Barve, sir, has the very well crafted and well designed career. He is presently working as a director at Kelkar Education Trust and is professor and head at Department of Botany and Biotechnology at Waze College, Mumbai. So he has completed his postdoc from the uh, USA and his theme was on uh, transgenic plants. He has guided the 10 PhD students and two MSc students and five PhD students are pursuing the PhD program under him. Over 100 publications to his credit are there. He, he has handled the uh, projects worth rupees 10 crores and he has the different awards with which he has been uh, poeted. He has published uh, 15 books. So I think uh, from the biodata, you can judge that he is a man of letter. So, <clears throat> he is going to present the theme that is cultivation and processing of aromatic plants. So, already the essence of his career we have seen. Now, actually, we will uh, are interested to uh, see how the cultivation and processing of aromatic plants takes place. So, uh, Professor, please you can fill in with your presentation. Yes, sir. Good morning and thank you, Deshpande, sir. Thank you, Savadekar, sir. All those esteemed professors and all my dear students who have joined this program. It's really uh, wonderful and a uh, pleasure to be talking to you, which I can clearly see now that more than, uh, say, around 65 plus uh, people are attending. And it is very difficult time that we have. The difficult time in the sense with uh, COVID and then we are locked. But uh, to be frank, that uh, our center is on, so we are working full play. Here, there is one. We are here with a mission. So today, we will be talking about uh, as I uh, share the screen with you, and uh, that uh, screen. Uh, what uh, what we want to just uh, talk about is the uh, aroma mission. The mission that we are going to cultivate uh, aromatic plants, and those aromatic plants will be later on. Kokan region, which uh, you are the hub, you are rather more resource of the resource person than uh, I be uh, talking to you. But uh, in the capacity of uh, uh, scientific research center, which we are catering to the aromatic and medicinal plant along with CMAP, here we are going to see how the uh, aromatic plant can be of help in, uh, in uh, trying to see that uh, on one side we'll have uh, empowerment of farmers, on the other side what we'll have is uh, building the resources for the country and it could be self-sufficient. The country could be self-sufficient in the sense whenever we want to have, we could be hub later on to provide all the resources in aromatic medicinal plants to the world. So let us not waste time and then uh, straight away go to the mission education. Education is again in the eye of the storm. So uh, because of the COVID, everybody is uh, landlocked. But the UNESCO mission clearly says that, that knowledge through research and education to meet the needs of humanity and one thing which is very clearly mentioned in this is industry economic interface. On one side, we have uh, all the aspects, particularly if, while we consider the uh, Indian scenario, we have uh, apprehension about the quality, the relevance. We are having the infrastructure problem about the employability and the interface. This Aroma mission and maybe the program that we are going to see, Aromatic and Medicinal Plant, which um, Kokan, which is said to be California of India, or maybe the paradise on the earth, where everything can be done. And uh, then I am pleased to share my uh, uh, views. It is almost like a uh, uh, magician performing in front of the expert magician, the Apoli Agriculture University. I am sure you are you know everything that perhaps uh, I may be mentioning. But uh, let us have a hand-holding together and let us see that how this mission can be taken forward to have an industry economic interface, to have knowledge through research and education meeting the needs of humanity. Here, for most of the time, when the India is independent and world over, 
we are talking about that golden triangle between agriculture industry and academic institution on one side it could be the industry academic institution would be there but not so much uh, potent as you see in the country not so much well developed in the country we are still trying to see in the new educational policy and everything but when we talk about agriculture on one side institutions on the other side and industry this aspect is yet unheard and then we are trying to see to that this golden triangle gets established and with the help and support of the government that we can infuse quality and relevance and we can have that golden triangle to really convert anything and then uh, offer employability offer the sustainability offer the empowerment to the farmers and above all really prepare new entrepreneurs so this is what we call it as golden triangle interface that we can uh, establish challenge of globalization whenever we try to see that pardon me for all i am telling you a little bit on the flip side but uh, india has so much of the resources where we can be rather the suppliers to the world but we are importing most of the aromatic oil from maybe world over from europe from uh, southeast asia from uh, maybe uh, maybe uh, the other adjoining countries of the sark here we have to just see to that we have the resources but let us try to see how we can build on these resources and then develop that agricultural synergy to develop the cutting edge technologies whether this can come again i will say that this can come because we have a young generation which is on our side india is the agrarian base and we happen to be among the 16 mega biodiversity zone world's 12 leading biodiversity region is in india it is vast potential climate perfectly conducive india is suitable to be a major major player into the international thing here we have 67 uh, kind of the uh, angels who are sitting if we take up this i am sure that india can be another 2 uh, to 5 years can really lead in this world where we can easily do this because uh, the genetic resources is there biodiversity is there and let us quickly go to go through that uh, just uh, in steve jobs uh, words think different stay hungry stay foolish try to really convert every resources into the opportunity and that resource into opportunity can really herald us into the pinnacle of the glory pinnacle of the success let us try to see that what aromatic medicinal plant world can do if all you see from last 50 years the trade of the otc herbal drug is now increasing under the post covid situation where the uh, sanitizers are on the uh, top here the sale has really gone up but most of the uh, raw materials is coming from china coming from uh, indonesia coming from european region here there is a clear opportunity whether this will stay or not we wish that it would even go by say another 10 15 days but the awareness which has generated has generated vast consumption kind of a tendency among people to really go for hand sanitizers maybe herbal kind of thing herbal medicines and everything along the olden tradition we will we'll skip uh, all going through the back history but uh, back to nature wave is there there is clearly herbal wave is there and we have to really have a fresh look at this considering us 5 trillion trade by 2050 so in these next 20 25 years would be really the golden years if at all we consider and convert this this kind of the uh, problem this kind of a pandemic into the opportunity or otherwise the resources into the kind of uh, capital let us try to consider this considering indian herbal scene now earlier on we were talking about the quality and relevance we were talking about infrastructure all my dear friends just try to see that here out of the total herbal product the export is just 1.1% under 1% we can say this can be easily improved consider the case of brazil consider the case of indonesia consider the case of thailand and all malaysia and all those uh, countries which are comparatively be very small but here we are lacking the focus where is the application application is into the medicines application is into the cosmetics applications into the flavors fragrance natural colors where we are we are having the repository of over 45000 diverse plant species out of that 16 mega different agroclimatic zones are there 12 mega biodiversity zone which we have but here our export is under 1% we can improve it by just 0.5% 0.1% still there will be a consequently a very major leap that we can have into the indian herbal scene 
all of this we'll have to really consider very pragmatically unless if at all we go by the traditional way then the same thing will happen let us take the inventory raw materials just now i was mentioning 8000 medicinal plant species that is aromatic also 80% population in the world still depending on the traditional medicine 2500 aromatic plants and then there are 70 ma major oils which are in trade world over are we leading in single oil we are leading just in one oil which i will come to that later it is palm rose oil but rest all most of the time we have to depend on the other countries here we have western ghat on the other side we are having uh, almost virtually every other biodiversity zone in the world 16 agro ag economic zones which are there where we can culture culture and then grow virtually every other plant global cosmetic on one side essential oil market is almost dollars 4 billion how much is uh, the share our share is uh, comparatively negligible but the industry is growing at the rate almost 7.5% year i have written it is now growing at almost 10% annually number of medicinal plants we are not going into the detail but charak sangita is their ayurvedic pharmacopoeia 85 drug plant but here what we are lacking is we are not standardizing those drugs we are not having the sops to culture cultivate really extract the secondary metabolite make a finished product in uh, in connection with the international kind of regulations and standards if at all we just pick up one of these then still each one of our life will be different than what uh, it is today here we are trying to consider the aromatic plants germicidal lab antimicrobial properties into perfumery and food flavors cosmetics toiletries right from the morning you get, wake up till the time you sleep and virtually every other aspect including food is there beverages there then the cosmetics are there then maybe the uh, fragrances are there essential oils happen to be one of the major component and here uh, not beating the brand but just trying to tell we are the company that sh kelkar is the company over almost 85 years of existence in the in the india and we are the only company which is listed as with the ipo on the stock market this is again one of the top 10 aromatic and fragrance and flavors producing country where our products go in 85 different countries and here what i was trying to tell you is i have told you something different but from morning to evening whatever fragrance and flavor we come across i vouch that almost 50 to 60% they come from our our company that is uh, what we have tremendous amount of uh, medicated aromatic plants uh, essential oils essential oil producing plant plant based medicine this is just i am trying to show but when it comes to aromas and flavors top 10 essential oils including orange mint eucalyptus lemongrass peppermint and then camphor coriander patchouli geranium here we have extract distillate concentrates are there are uh, different kind of aromas in food different kinds of the aroma chemicals over 300 different aroma chemicals which are required and every other cosmetic that you have either it has a flavor it has a fragrance it has essential oil and then why not really bank on this and uh, to all my young friends let me just uh, put in uh, this uh, at this juncture these are all consumables and those consumables have to be replenished either by producing into the industry most of them are not synthetic most of them have to be produced out of the agriculture and then we are the best agrarian country where still even while we are almost one fourth down into 21st century still 60% of our indian population depends on agriculture and it is the agrarian economy but how much is the gdp share gdp share is very less under 10% is the gdp share it should compensate with 60% at least it should be 20% but uh, whatever it is it is 10% if at all we can increase it by 1% this kind of lecture and this kind of interaction even though on the um, uh, web it will be very uh, very fruitful the rapid production volatile oils terpenes compositions in bio uh, convergence bio transformation every other aspect we can do and then i am sure in the apuli uh, uh, agriculture university all such facilities actually exist that's why i am trying to show some other thing before actually we come on to what we call it as the essential oil now coming on to whatever we are trying to see that aromatic and medicinal plants over 3000 aromatic essential oils are in vogue world over 300 used in commercial purposes and 75 essential oils are used in india 
out of that lemongrass citronella geranium palmarosa patchouli oil essential oils have a complex composition either it is alcoholic aldehyde ketonic phenolic then esters and all other kind of thing but on the right hand side in the green box just try to see that geranium oil the requirement is 200 tons per year and we are producing 50 to 60 tons how much is the gap 150 tons is the gap patchouli oil we are production is 500 tons indian production global demand is 2000 tons we can grow four times in this citronella a grass is there production is 350 tons but the global consumption now has grown up to 7000 tons see the leaf whatever we have lemon grass then jokingly we can say kya ghas uga raha hai kya but this is the what this is the thing which is there it has tremendous value and if at all we don't understand it then let us discuss it we will be taking up question answers uh, later on once we finish with the tissue culture aspect once we finish with the cultivation protocol here of all these oils whatever i have been mentioning we top only in one palmarosa oil where our production is almost now 100 ton only one grass oil we uh, top in the world rest all the oils we are importing but the capacity wise if at all we see we have tremendous capacity we can grow all that whatever we have for example Indonesia is supposed to be the hub of patchouli, then geranium, uh, lemon grass, citronella, and all that kind of thing. But every household, every person is engaged in this kind of business. Like in Thailand, is engaged in tourism. Like uh, maybe in Switzerland, uh, into maybe uh, technology industry. Maybe in US, maybe uh, what we call IT. Maybe in Boston, uh, in biotechnology. Why not we can be the hub of essential oil and then aromatic plant production? that is my question to you let us introspect all of us have to introspect into this when we have a capacity we are still not doing it if at all we are not doing it it is other uh, a kind of uh, greatest kind of uh, sin and then we are the culprits if at all we say that there is no growth for the farmer here agricultural income there is no income tax and then the limit of whatever you produce there is absolutely no no limit to so later on economic side will come and then uh, let us take a shot here what we have done is almost 25 years back vinay ganesh was a college with kelkar education trust uh, with the quest of excellence excellence efficiency and equity with the philanthropic vision having uh, the motto like no business in charity no charity in business cannot resist in telling that we are the first uh, four times nac uh, accredited now autonomous and then uh, fifth top biotech institution set to be in india and one of the major industry economic interface institution what we did maybe 25 years back we established a scientific research center with the motto of development of a viable technology in the area of aromatic medicinal plant with microbiology cosmetology and phytopharmaceutical coming together so this is one roof under one roof everything for serving mankind through quality driven technical excellence what is our motto develop viable biotechnologies and develop the technologies especially in aromatic plant because our uh, mother institution is sh kelkar who are dealing with the perfumes and flavor so maybe perhaps other than simap with very few institution dealing with aromatic medicinal plant this is one to all my young friends uh, let me even tell that why i go into aromatic medicinal plant because it is a niche sector very small sector nobody is working very few people are working in this so this is rather the best place where to explore where nobody is exploring and then little you do can really go a very long way let's try to see the quality but driven research excellence what we do plant biotechnology microbiology animal tissue culture and cosmetology to so that will come little later but uh, whatever is needed for industry cultivation of aromatic and medicinal plant for formulation and here we do testing of cosmetics also we are a dsr recognized organization we are fd approved and we are crystal rated crystal rated is given to almost sort of a industry kind of uh, accreditation and this is a third party no no uh, document is asked to us everything is asked to our customers and we are rated very high even in uh, crystal rating state of the art infrastructure over 35000 square feet of infrastructure is there here what we are doing in uh, plant biotechnology cloning elite varieties what elite varieties mostly aromatic plant mostly aromatic plants almost 10 to 15 aromatic plant regularly production on the large scale we are developing field extension with the sops training to the farmers is given absolutely free and then the second thing so listen this very carefully 
the sop of the entire program is whatever you produce the entire buyback is given entire buyback of whatever is your produce is given by the company this is not happening in india this is not happening in most of the part of the world this is what they called as the contract farming but the contract farming is whenever there is a glut in market uh, the farmers are cheated here initially the mo is made and the farmer is uh, always benefited and this is the biggest csr that we are doing microbial biotechnology we do a lot of bio transformation particularly agar wood oil if all uh, we i have not included agar wood oil which we call it as uh, the woods of the god 1 liter of the agar wood uh, oil that is agar uh, essential oil that cost how much if all uh, you would wonder it cost almost 1 crore rupees per liter just imagine if all we can do it by bio transformation little of this we are doing lot much of the tissue culture of the aquilaria plant which we call agar wood plant fermentative bio processing and then bio transformation is what we are doing cosmology and phyto formulation as i was mentioning earlier that 60% of the all the cosmetic products and maybe the perfumes come from us here in the center we can see yukta mukhi she is my student maybe uh, way back almost uh, now 20 years back she was uh, miss world and here what we are trying to do is we are developing the formulation what formulation all the herbal creams that you are using all the cosmetics that you are using not only in india but for all the mncs world over let me even vouch that we are having over 500 such cosmetic products and formulation launch in the market which you are using of the top brands in the world i cannot uh, just uh, tell those top brand because it is nda but we are doing those formulations for them and again most of the best of the best shampoos that you are using best of the best creams lotions and every other kind of thing is being developed here we are having cosmetological activity and in vitro testing of what we call it as clinical trials also we do in biotechnology we have done uh, already the, uh, i have told you that cultivation and processing of essential oils with buyback guarantee that is the usp but we are doing in the molecular biology sometime i'll come back with uh, molecular investigation and here we have our first and uh, then there are two repositories on ncbi one about uh, jatropha that is what we call it as petrocrop bio diesel what is that we have analyzed entire uh, countries uh, populations of the jatropha and then the best kind of varieties its uh, snp related uh, analysis is now uh, a repository which is put on ncbi site similarly some kind of the medicinal plants which are anti diabetic we have another repository which is on ncbi site amongst very few institutions having the repository of their own uh, research on ncbi site we are uh, amongst uh, one which we have this is the lab to land program which is there now we'll go little bit slow little bit uh, uh, step by step and uh, that kind of a thing is is a challenge to take lab to land program very rarely it happens even uh, from the premier research labs uh, most of the technology which is been developed it is either on the shelf doesn't reach to the farmer it is industry academic agriculture interface and then the synergy where mass propagation of aromatic plants is given it is given to the farmers grown in their field and then whatever is the produce it is given assured buyback it is a complete spectrum of aromatic plants you just name one we will be having said to be sort of a commercial production but uh, agricultural consultancy given free training to farmers given free basic know how every know how is given free to the farmers and then the farmers have to just uh, do the, that they have to cultivate the crop in their field just look at them look after them and then uh, get uh, the finished product there is the increased demand as uh, initially uh, post covid situation whatever we are trying to tell it is coming india china emerging as a potential market but china is taking over us because they produce in such a glut glutting in the market that such a huge amount is being produced that we cannot uh, compete but let us all of us uh, together we can really do this aspect where there is a huge internal demand in fragrance industry 60% of the products are required for uh, fragrance industry flavor industry 25% pharmaceutical industry 20% here earlier now i have already mentioned but again reiterate that rich botanical well suitable agroclimatic condition kokan is the best place for growing patchouli scientifically trained manpower let me even intervene at the, this place um, that india happens to be the second top largest scientifically and technologically trained tissue culture manpower in the world 
what are we doing so we have to just convert it improve the agro technology is processing and relatively lower cost of the production where the labor is available cheaply and a huge amount of a talented uh, youth which are available to really work in this very simple rationale what we have we are having this palm rosa i have deliberately uh, uh, blurred uh, the images except uh, patchouli and geranium it is having a rosy aroma it is a grass once you keep in your field it will stay for 7 years what you have to do is just cut the uh, uppermost uh, grass uh, leaflet extract the oil it is going in the perfumery cosmetic soaps and then oil contains geraniol this is what is exactly having the rose uh, odor due to the geraniol and geranial esters which are there very cheap source of what we call it as rose like essence and uh, fragrance but uh, take it from me that it is no uh, what we call it as cheap resource it is having similar kind of the ingredients as they are there into rose taking rose from the nature it will be very costly also but this will be comparatively very cheap very affordable coming on to the lemon grass all of you know that it is uh, what we call mosquito repellent and every other kind of thing but this is what is uh, basically going as uh, citral vitamin c where 75 to 80% citral content is there and where all that lemon kind of a component comes in the market basically it comes from this because orange peels orange uh, extract will be comparatively much much uh, costlier this is very simple kind of thing just uh, put it into your field and forget it for 7 years if all you simply cut the leaves every 3 or 4 months extract the oil and then sell it to the company third one which is there which we call citronella it is again uh, the mosquito repellent which is there the oil country citral will be 9% citronella oil is one which is having a very typical kind of smell this is what is called as the java variety and of all the three crops listen this very carefully if all you are putting in your field if you look it properly the sop that is being given to us as if uh, as uh, the uh, initial crop that you grow regularly in your field per year per year per acre listen it again per year per acre minimum kind of economic minimum kind of profit apart from virtually every other kind of thing would be 70000 to 80000 rupees per acre per year not bad in kokan if at all we have 5 acres of land if at all this is been put and leave it to the mercy of god that rain fed region uh, this year the rains are uh, even uh, till uh, october september october only you have to see it during the summer time that uh, it needs to be water otherwise if at all you leave it like that just go on cutting you may get uh, very handsome income 5 acres 4 to 5 lakhs a year not bad not bad kind of proposition then coming on to the geranium this is what is the real rose scented uh, kind of geranium we cannot everyone including you and me we cannot afford the uh, original rose kind of essence to be put into our cosmetics maybe the uh, fragrance and flavor oil has citronellol geraniol and here there is one kind of a component which is there alpha ap eudesmol which is there having exact scent, exact smell and aroma what we call what is present in the rose so this is rose scented geranium china is producing huge amount huge means a tremendous amount and in geranium what we have already seen the demand is four times and then we are not even uh, producing 50 to 60 tons of this oil every year this is what is the challenge that if all we can really do that we have conquered the world it is not rocket science it is not uh, which is uh, too difficult to really achieve except tissue culture molecular biology will be a little bit difficult but whatever later on i'll be telling everyone can do it with a little bit commitment cogostemon this is what is called patch or patchouli oil has some kind of what we call earthy smell most of the perfume most of your cosmetic most of your soap some uh, medicines also they have this it is called patchouli alcohol uh, here i have written patchouli alcohol somewhere around 35% but recently we have uh, developed through hybridization one variety it is uh, a variety which we call it as indonesian indian kind of uh, uh, cross we have made where patchouli alcohol percentage has gone up to 40 41% now this is what is uh, very essential for soap and cosmetics the world consumption is 2000 tons and then uh, the production is just 500 tons so this is what is tremendous kind of uh, opportunity that we have if all we see the uh, geranium and we see patchouli 
per year per acre the kind of uh, apart from even cultivation of the cost of the uh, plantation cost of the fertilization distillation cost uh, whatever equipment that you put profit per year per acre for both the plants will not be less than 2 to 2.5 lakhs per acre and uh, take it from it 2 to 2.5 lakhs per year per acre of patchouli these are the plants which are not stolen by anybody because not sold in the market as vegetable they are the plants which contains essential oil component which is generally not attacked by most of the insect except some uh, fungal some kind of uh, uh, what we call it as uh, nematode like uh, infections may come but we can easily uh, do away with uh, both of these plants only proper care proper care how much per day maybe every day a visit to your farm 2 to 3 hours proper watering and then simply the plant is yours every day 2 to 3 hours you are working in your office for more than 8 hours and now working from home is maybe at times 12 hours some webinar webinar web meeting web meeting so this is what is the best kind of proposition and a total buyback guarantee is given for both the plants even the grasses and then the other plant here today we have kept only five plants so micro propagation technology for the greener tomorrow millions of saplings multiplied raise and season so it is the new approach to indian agri scenario uh, savade ka sir he is the molecular biology expert he is the tissue culture expert we'll agree that the indian agri scenario still is not employing this technique of uh, plant tissue culture it is still we are into traditional breeding which takes a very tedious which is uh, very time consuming but if all we go by micro propagation which uh, our greenhouse our shed net which is there you can see that millions of plants are there it is the effective way high quality planting material short period of time greater output is there and then freedom for seasonal constraints constraints are there clone uniformity will be there and then disease free plants can be produced little bit investment is needed but if all all of us come together with the government support with the private industry support if this kind of investment is made once it is forever and then the younger generation whatever for their employment uh, opportunities and employment kind of uh, perils that uh, they are facing this is rather the best kind of a proposition believe me uh, my dear young friend if all five acres of land and then you are putting patchouli that will be fetching you 10 lakhs a year 10 lakhs a year which is not even the salary you would get even after msc believe me if at all uh, you have to get maybe it will take 5 years maybe it will take uh, still further but this is your kind of entrepreneurship your kind of endeavor endeavor and then uh, entire profit it uh, goes to you income tax free is there there is there is no upper ceiling whatever you can go go, go for uh, production of this now let us go little bit about uh, patchouli tissue culture production i am aware that in um, in uh, dapoli krishi vidyapeeth you have the best tissue culture facility state of the art tissue culture facility and i am sure that uh, we have once collaborated maybe uh, the first program that we did maybe almost uh, 15 to 20 years back was uh, with uh, your university incorporating patchouli native of indonesia but now we have uh, started cultivating uh, pogostemon in india on last scale it has sesquiter pins patchouli alcohol that uh, whatever we have uh, told it has characteristic odor and that odor is what we call the odor is uh, uh, the kind of uh, uh, a typical uh, uh, aroma which is there that goes in uh, most of the perfumes most of the uh, formulation when we come on to the micro propagation very difficult to really go and then crack micro propagation of uh, patchouli because a lot of trial and error that we have come and then rooting on half strain midi without any kind of the hormone that is the kind of trick most of time uh, whenever we are going for rooting we try we try and mingle some kind of the uh, uh, hormones in that the rooting will not come and to have a steady kind of plantlet this is what is the best technique ms uh bap and bap and carnitine which is there under the percentage little bit plus and minus uh, we can try but this is what is the modest kind of a composition that we have from the nodal explant first get uh, the shoot uh, the callus and then rooting go for the organogenesis that is what we call uh, the leaf explants which can be really produced shoot elongation 
here we can incorporate little bit of a gibberellin gibberellic acid gibberellin the elongation will be much faster much uh, rapid and then under the in the lab within 4 weeks of the time we can produce very good rooted uh, very sturdy rooted and profusely rooted plant if not one or two roots are there then that is not said to be a good plant because after all the leaves have to really uh, develop aromatic uh, oil glands and then the oil should be developing in that this is under test tube but a very sturdy plant which is there and profuse root i slightly enlarged slightly what we call it as uh, uh, spread the image to sh uh, show the amount of roots it is profusely producing roots uh, which is the best hardened plants in large proportion the hardened plants can be there each plant you can sell from maybe 5 rupees and then tissue culture plant can be sold even up to 10 rupees per plant production cost will be much much less but here you need to have a tissue culture laboratory uh, that is what is initial investment then we should have a greenhouse then we should have shed net and all that kind of thing if all you are not doing this but still there is another way that you can do cultivation and processing of uh, patchouli and this is the best proposition under uh, the uh, situation where the essential oil demand in the world has increased tremendously so let us go and recap that induction 0.5 mili uh, mg uh, uh, bap solution multiple shoot again uh, bap and then kinetin rooting on uh, half strength activated charcoal no kind of hormones are being put and the planting transplanted to uh, kind of uh, solid soil uh, sand soil kind of mixture plus fertilization acclimated and then uh, in vitro regenerated plants in the field from the lab till the field it will take maybe two months uh, time it is a great opportunity indonesia account for 80% of a global patchouli production entire economy of indonesia is mostly on uh, aromatic same is about malaysia 80% of a global patchouli production which is being done we have similar kind of thing western ghat is there coastal regions which are there then all four southern states are there and the best of the best place in the world other than indonesia if all you would try to see it is kokan where humidity is there coastal uh, environment is there and then the land is perfectly uh, suitable for patchouli and demand is again huge and cultivable land which is conducive for pogostemon that is patchouli in india so this is the greatest opportunity if all we don't take it then somebody else will come for example in malaysia i can see in indonesia i can see because the the, the advantage indonesia malaysian uh, kind of uh, those uh, island malaysia indonesia or uh, maybe hundreds and thousands of islands which are there those islands are having volcanic kind of ash which is there and that ash is acting as a fertilizer very good fertilizer second thing is it rains throughout the year so they don't have to water at all simply they take the cutting cutting means the pieces of the patchouli nodal segment put it in the soil within 3 4 weeks it grows so the production cost of tissue culture and every other thing is less here we can do nursery generation for uh, patchouli then uh, by cutting one plant can generate maybe 100 plant one plant to 100 plant first filial you can go up to three filial generation so you don't have to depend all the time on tissue culture plant sometime the replenishing uh, of the mother stock can be done through tissue culture plant which can be established at few nodal centers like maybe one in dapoli one in mumbai one in maybe uh, one in uh, uh, there is already one in simap somewhere in kasargod maybe in uh, uh, mangalore maybe in kerala all these southern states are really doing wonderful another kind of a great opportunity for the patchouli production exists in the northeast state the thing which is there in northeast and then in kokan pardon me but all i am telling this but uh, extreme poverty is there land is very rich with the resources the people are poor and if all we we want to have uh, something that we want to induce the empowerment this is rather the plan which can change the destiny of themselves change the destiny of a nation as we will grow as uh, the full fledged uh, production hub for uh, patchouli coming on to geranium another best crop that can be done china is blooding the market where we can grow this we cannot grow this in the coastal region where there is a humidity free region which is required for geranium for example in Ma maharashtra uh, berar is there but uh, in vidarbha uh, the temperatures are very high marathwada which is there 
then Khandesh is there, uh, Western Maharashtra, which can really grow geranium. And in Western Maharashtra, for experimental purpose, two, three years back, we started from five acres and now we have reached 5,000 acres. I am really proud to say that uh, those farmers are finding the alternative to their cash crop. Their cash crop is uh, sugar cane, not getting the returns as they expect. And then they have put in geranium. What I am telling is from five acres on experimental thing three years back, now they are growing in over 5,000 acres. Yield and then uh, the benefit and profit is 2 to 2.5 to 3 lakh rupees per year per acre. And that's why most of them are really going there. There are three varieties, which is uh, Algerian, Bourbon, and then the Egyptian variety. We are having one <coughs> variety, which is uh, which is what we call as, as specially crafted, uh, Kilka strain of uh, geranium that uh, we are going. For micropropagation, again, this is what is niche and niche medium. This is uh, replenished with the sugar. Almost 3 to 5% sugar is added into that as a carbon source. And then the BAP, uh, <coughs> millimoles, almost uh, 0.15 to uh, 0 to uh, 15 uh, millimoles of uh, BAP. That is, um, uh, that is uh, a molar kind of a concentration uh, in, in terms of the uh, concentration of the active rooting half strength with uh, uh, 0 to 2.5. So this is again, that is the kind of a uh, trick. Instead of going to MS, go for uh, niche and niche. Three different varieties which are there. So uh, the first one, that is what is now cultivated uh, in Maharashtra on larger scale. Sometimes it is called uh, Chinese variety. Sometimes it is called Kilkar variety. Other two are there, but the uh, yield is comparatively less because the leaf doesn't have, uh, the leaf is having what we call incisions. And uh, those incisions uh, naturally will reduce uh, the oil glands which are there. Nodal explants, uh, MS initially to uh, really regenerate. Uh, BAP which has been added. Again, shoot regeneration is being uh, done almost on the same kind of a concentration. Here, uh, niche medium plus BAP multiple shoots. Little bit uh, gibberellic acid can even do the elongation of the shoot which is there. And rooting is done on the IBA. That's what uh, I was uh, telling. And uh, then we come on to the mature plants. Those mature plants can be uh, uh, put to, uh, this is the entire kind of the picture which is there, put to solarite mixture and then the sand soil uh, fertilizer. Uh, just uh, the cycle is same, almost uh, four weeks in the lab, four weeks in the uh, greenhouse and then the shed net. And uh, maximum induction again on the hormone-free uh, MS medium. Rooting again on hormone-free full strength uh, MS medium can really enhance. These are our interventions which uh, we have done in geranium. And what I am trying to tell is these two plants which uh, needs to be done uh, through tissue culture. Other plants, whatever I have shown you, are the grasses which will go by uh, uh, the slips. It will be vegetatively propagated. But this needs to really replenish at the uh, periodic uh, level. And Dapoli, Krishi Vidya all we can start those programs. There is a huge demand. And whatever amount of the plants we produce into the uh, lakhs, not into millions also, those can go into the field. Believe me, in uh, Kerala, in uh, Tamil Nadu, in um, Andhra Pradesh, and in Karnataka, huge population is uh, in Pacholi and then in, uh, into the uh, little bit interior, they are cultivating geranium. We are trying to grow geranium even in Punjab, which is again uh, showing very good result. But this is very... Uh, uh, the plant which doesn't need too much of cold, not too much of uh, wetness, a moderate uh, dry thing in the middle, uh, that is the plateau region uh, of uh, India. This is uh, one of the best kind of proposition that we can have. Now this can be done as a hardening which will come. And now we are trying to tell you, I am trying to tell you about what government of India in initiated you. That is what is called as the Arma mission. Now the second phase has started. First phase started in 2015 and now the second phase, listen to the figure. The figure is somewhere around 9,000 hectares of land, roughly around, say around 25,000 acres of the land. This is what is needed to be spread. There is a special allocation into our uh, budget that is the Gangetic Plains, which are there, all the plains plateaus into the uh, different states. Not only one, but there are a number of plants, whatever we are all doing. Example, uh, say lavender, which is again a big uh, proposition 
mint is said to be big proposition vetiver is said to be a big proposition then lemongrass is said to be a big proposition roseberry is there and then salvia then uh, osimum uh, all those uh, plants which are there very easy to grow very easy to maintain only thing is that if all you don't look at them then the plant will not give you any kind of a profit if you love them these are the plant definitely going to give a uh, a uh, hand holding and that hand holding will lead to economic prosperity for the country it will lead to self sufficiency again listen to the figures that uh, from now that this month onward the next phase is being launched and that next phase is 9000 hectares of land almost 25000 acres in almost all over the country here whatever we have written it includes maharashtra these spots which are being shown they are already growing something but you can see on the kokan side nothing is come this is what is again an opportunity so let us cash on to this opportunity if we can so this is what we call now let us even have some kind of the sops and protocols that how to go about forget about tissue culture forget about molecular biology little bit high fonda techniques which needs uh, too much of uh, investment but here in a win win gesture with the outreach program aromatic plants to be cultivated in whatever so here experimentally we have done in punjab otherwise the granary of a nation where it produces a lot of grains with a total buy back to the farmers but our experience was really exhilarating in punjab because they know agriculture much better than anybody else and whenever they knew that these are the crops which are going to give them a profit they came in a big way here you can see people from punjab state agricultural punjab state institute of science and technology that kind of mission the directors and all the scientists are coming together we are we have shown them how to grow grasses and here bottom where all those four uh, people are uh, waiting you can see pamroda seen growing and here in the center you can see patchouli how thick patchouli is growing i will little bit later tell you the uh, economics of that in maharashtra two diverse kind of uh, economic agro climatic zones are been uh, selected in baramati maharashtra was done and one in punjab where we have concentrated on patchouli geranium lemongrass citronella and palm rosa these all five plants i have shown you background you can see that what the punjab farmer can really do we have asked them to grow just in one acre and then they have grown in say around 10 acres of land absolutely healthy kind of a thing mechanized uh, agriculture that they have done and then the objective was to develop agro technology which we have now with us a collaboration with the farmers to improve the livelihood which i am now telling uh, time and on involvement of the academic institutions like uh, colleges and the universities industries the local government we give standardized protocol we train the farmers and then you as a student uh, the professors who are listening we can be the resource we train the farmers with the multi location cultivation and in the maintenance of the germ plasm maybe in the university in the colleges wherever it can be done we can have a nursery generation here the geranium plantation which is done in uh, baramati so uh, the region where we started in uh, western maharashtra now it has grown like a wild fire so here the agro technology is if all you put in uh, drip and all establishment of a demo plot if all uh, it is to be done in dapoli so that people can see that this is how the plant looks this is how the uh, the uh, cultivation is to be done the uh, seed plots and the physical parameters studied foliage uh, is used for oil extraction this is a tissue culture nodal explant i have already shown you but this is just a repeat kind of slide which has come for uh, geranium tissue culture now see the nursery generation i was mentioning that 1 is to 100 kind of a multiplication rate here you can see virtually the thousands of plants which are cultivated and here what you have to do, do is just cut maybe three internodal kind of thing cut off all the leaves put into say ibs solution 1000 uh, ppm very dilute solution put in soil with uh, soil sand and then uh, fertilizer mixture and then um, soil media here i given you compost vermi compost and then just maintain into a standard uh, uh, nursery condition from almost uh, nowhere half uh, maybe 1 rupee for the uh, uh, plastic pots and maybe another 1 rupee for 1 uh, uh, rupee for the plant to grow here you can uh, you can earn the profit of almost 5 to 6 rupees you sell you can even sell up to 8 to 10 rupees also people will purchase that kind of healthy plant you can see the condition of the plant if all every one of us uh, those uh, who are listening i'm sure it is a very niche kind of audience we can really grow and develop 
this kind of nursery for patchouli as well as uh, geranium implementation training of farmers cultivation trials and then we give buyback here we have a very small greenhouse in the college and then the other one which is the 3000 feet uh, square feet greenhouse in our company which is there through this we are generating this uh, little bit of uh, endeavor with uh, hand holding with the farmer standardization of soil parameters can be done in value addition here if all uh, the uh, uh, my uh, picture screen is not coming in between you can see one ton distillation unit which is being put and here you can see heap of geranium the nursery is there the geranium into the field which is seen and then the cutting those foliage under 24 hours needs to be distilled and here we have a 500 liter capacity fdu how much it cost 500 liter capacity fdu will cost you maybe almost 5 lakh rupees if at all you are having cultivation in say 5 acres of land cultivation in 5 acres of land at the end of uh, maybe one year you are expected to get a uh, profit of 10 lakh rupees in a year out of that you can easily uh, put one uh, fdu 5 lakh rupees and then still in first year your enterprise will be in profit nothing to do and it is uh, so very easy easier than agriculture but uh, you have to really maintain that kind of uh, sob standard biomass is distilled it is getting analyzed now see the key indicators what we have if you come on to patchouli our variety which is there that is what is uh, uh, what we call selected variety oil yield is somewhere around 2.4 percent to 3 percent and then per year per acre the production of the leaves is six tons just multiply by that it could be almost 2.5 that is 150 liters or kilogram of oil which is coming and then you multiply it by the minimum cost which is there 3000 rupees how much is there i am telling you 4.5 lakh per year per acre but here your uh, labor will go your uh, uh, fertilizers will go your uh, uh, plantation material will go and this is what is called as the economy already i have told you the uh, uh, constituents of that so this is what is the practical kind of uh, agriculture and it is alternative to the conventional agriculture and this is leading to a value addition of uh, the agriculture that we have so let us even go for the extension services we have gone, gone all over the country here somewhere you can see from uh, nearby border to pakistan to maybe assam to uh, down south and uh, see the lush green kind of fields which are there those fields are yielding the farmer training motivate them give them the scientific kind of the information just three hours training can convert any farmer anybody who is little bit literate or otherwise illiterate also can can, can be converted into uh, this kind of uh, uh, force but there is uh, one kind of hindrance and that hindrance which is there still there is that conventional mentality that will not go away from our conventional cross if at all we can really do away th with that and then the change the mindset this is what is uh, something absolutely important so we do little bit of a virus free banana uh, g9 variety which is there and then transfer of technology this is our wada farm so in wada nearby thane uh, in thane district so from the tissue from the uh, laboratory lab to land and this can even give you six tons the farm is absolutely lush green this is what is there with uh, most of our farmer now don't get uh, bogged down don't get even astonished how much area that we are uh, cultivating these plants in india we are cultivating this plant in india to the tune of almost 50000 acres where in maharashtra very less in maharashtra where maximum all four southern states they are really doing good in northeast we are now doing good in uh, dharkhand then uh, uttarakhand we are really, really doing good and now punjab is coming up little bit of gujarat rajasthan mp and bihar and uttar pradesh uh, they have yet to come up but uh, they are also marginal farmers are there i am telling you not uh, less of the zeros or more of the zeros 50000 acres that means a huge kind of a farmer chain of almost 1 lakh farmers is now here in this uh, thing but in maharashtra this is not happening i will not tell the reasons here if at all you ask the question then only i will tell you why it is happening it is the revolution that we have inflicted 25 years back we brought four plants from indonesia four plants from indonesia and then the global demand to uh, india imports almost 150 tons of uh, patchouli oil if at all we can give almost 50 percent of that it means uh, this is what we have to cultivate uh, to the tune of uh, to the tune of almost uh, 
one uh, one uh, one uh, what we call it as uh, 150 kg per uh, acre that makes 10 uh, acres will be making almost one ton and then uh, we have to really go to maybe 50 tons that is almost say around 1000 acres of patchouli cultivation can really give us at least 50 percent of that 50 percent is now we have generated to really come up but we have to really grow on maybe 100 tons and then why not export it to that global demand of 2000 tons here we have a little bit uh, away as uh, we are coming to the close almost uh, now uh, 50 55 minutes but here we have done the cost of cultivation per year in us dollar 500 revenue from uh, essential oil us dollar 3000 to dollar 6000 per year per acre targeted to 10000 acres of cultivation nearly 50000 job directly or indirectly and then 1 lakh persons in the value added uh, chain that we have it is providing farmers with alternative income sure source of income application of cultivation to value addition and it will lead to import substitution and can have employment chain now i am showing you some pictures which are from uh, punjab a very very grand example citronellas now see in tens of acres see lemongrass how healthy which is there so this is what we can easily do in kokan this is what is uh, palm rosa this is what is uh, farmer now let me tell you a story it is uh, 11 18 11 19 one minute i'll tell you the story when we launched the programs 10 years back in punjab so uh, in uh, punjab uh, then uh, there was a pendal which was put uh, dbd directors and then all the uh, collectors and then uh, all uh, major people from uh, punjab state council of scientific and uh, industrial research over 500 people were there and this person which was there while uh, i was speaking and this person came draped in uh, a chadar and then he had some kind of a danda or gun and then he just pointed the gun towards us and then said i will kill all of you then uh, one person because they were all punjabi so they talked to him that uh, why why it is like that he said that uh, most of the time you come but we are not getting any kind of uh, profit no benefit to us then he said i am a terrorist okay i am a terrorist if all you don't do this i will kill you now he had two acres of land and he has started cultivating just lemon grass every year he earns 2 to 2.5 acre 5 lakh rupees per year per acre what he has done is learn the distillation technique he distills and he has cans of fulls of a distillation distilled oil which is uh, being put now whenever we go so he will uh, bring heaps of lychee then he will bring uh, nariyal barfi hugs us and he is a terrorist now turned uh, entrepreneur these are the FDUs, one ton FDUs that we have put in Punjab. Uh, this is what is the paradigm shift that a revolution in the cultivation and processing of aromatic and medicinal plant, which from four plants we brought uh, 20, 25 years back from Indonesia. Now we are having almost, uh, say, uh, close to 5,000 uh, acres of uh, land cultivated under Pachuli in India and even globally. Let me let, tell you a little bit about the cosmetology. Ours is the first testing facility in cosmetology. We test all the cosmetology norms, including the clinical trial. Then uh, back to herbals, what we call herbal formulations, herbal kind of uh, uh, cosmetics. That is what uh, we are doing. In creative center, we offer formulation for every other kind of a cosmetic and uh, aromatic product. So we come up with your herb, your concept, your product, your claim, and your formulation, and start your own uh, business. There are now almost 13 entrepreneurs which have come out of uh, our center. It is concept to the final uh, product, all under one roof. We do microbial testing, we do animal biotechnology testing. This is what we call it as in vitro testing, which is done very, very less in the, in the country, which we call alternative to the animal testing on cell line. All your products are tested for irritation safety. And we have one uh, component, one training program one uh, postgraduate diploma in tandem with the uh, institute in france it is called postgraduate diploma in perfume and cosmetic management every year 25 people are uh, uh, given admission at the nominal kind of a uh, 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 fees of uh, 50000 rupees as per the university uh, standard but the guaranteed employment even before they give their final year examination they are placed in one of the top industries cosmetic industries aromatic industries chemical industries globally placement is done on campus 
and they are placed in middle east in europe maybe in southeast asia and all the uh, all the institutions in the world let us have a glimpse of the tissue culture facility what we have our culture room which is there the greenhouse is there and here you can see the pacholi pacholi is been uh, grown pacholi uh, that uh, what we call it as putting it uh, from the uh, for hardening is been done for all your queries so let us uh, in again steve jobs word so let us invent tomorrow it is a simple kind of a job that whatever we have to do either do tissue culture or not tissue culture but the cultivation not cultivation but the processing not processing but the formulation but we have to utilize the resource very uh, systematically and uh, sustainably forget about what happened tomorrow so let us make a ding and uh, so come together stay hungry stay foolish is steve jobs word and for all your information please contact us thank you for patient listening hope uh, it can really generate some synergy thank you sir we're back to you sir thank you so now the topic is open for discussion yes yeah any questions from the participant side hello sir yes dhanashri sir so uh, you yes. mentioned the buyback uh, uh, option facility from your side for the company side so yes. uh, do you all provide the aid for distillation units also like uh, the establishment the working system and practice practical aspects of that yeah definitely so we will give you all the training suppose you don't have a distillation unit right now and suppose you have say one or two acres of land okay Yes, sir. Maybe re maybe reluctant in establishing uh, maybe a distillation unit which is costing five lakh, isn't it? So then what we'll do is we'll club your kind of a produce and then give it to the farmer who is the, who is who is nearby. So you can hire his services, and this is what can be easily done. So our uh, technologies, our uh, uh, head uh, horticulture will be coming to you, and then he will solve all the problem. So uh, generally, whatever has to be seen is all those kind of uh, roadblocks which are there. which we have to clear if all you are willing you may be having 10 guntas may be having 20 guntas let us form a cooperative and then all the produce whatever you are getting cut the produce go to the farmer who is having a distillation unit ask him that you give this on hire for 3 days that can be done or otherwise you have option of even selling the biomass but little bit of a more profit will go to that farmer who has having distillation unit but you can even hire that and over the years so let us even have uh, such thing have a best break even kind of a facility can be done in all the crops just under 4 or 5 acres of land under cultivation so that can be easily done i hope so like if all you are having fragmented thing so that is what is the solution so we have to find the solution isn't it is it right yes sir Uh, so one more doubt uh, yeah. if my crop uh, uh, in the land does not meet the parameters or which are or the That's like right. yeah uh -huh. so, so in that case what will be the uh, alternative yeah. for that so you are already what we call uh, agricultural uh, technology students who are there first what we'll do is uh, we'll go little bit systematically just test the soil and then try to see the npk and then uh, moisture and uh, whether there are uh, fungi or maybe any nematode all that kind of thing in advance we know so that we can take a corrective measure so corrective measures will be including all that sop and protocol that i have given you for example pacholi just now i showed you 3% or maybe 2.5% of uh, oil into the leaves and then uh, if all it is 6 tons that makes almost 150 tons a kilo of uh, oil at the cost i told you 3000 rupees it is 4.5 lakh rupees per year per acre we get but you have to pay to the farmer uh, to the worker you have to pay to the distillation service you have to pay to the water you have to pay to electricity transportation and then fertilizers buying the plants and all that even half of that even goes still your profit will be safe little bit uh, less if at all you have to add uh, more of uh, what we call insecticides and then uh, you have to sterilize the soil and all but uh, in kokan hopefully the soil is really very good it is uh, red uh, soil 
and then that is said to be the best for virtually initial okay okay sir thank you sir thank you uh, i think uh, there is another question before going to the ketan uh, barve so there is outi mr outi outi please outi tumhi satala aage ye kara mute aap tumhi unmute kara outi please आईडिय दा हजार प्लांट जर का एकदम खूब हाई कॉस्ट ने अपन दिल टिश्यू कल्चर प्लांट ने जर का दिल दा रुपया ने दिल सो यू आर इन्वेस्टिंग वन लैक रुपीज जे मी तुम इकोनॉमिक संगत साढ़े चार लाख एक लाख रुपये प्लांट लाइको देन फॉर फर्टिलाइजर सो आठ दा हजार जर का प्लांट एक एकर मध्य लो दिस इज वेरी वायबल यू कैन गो लिटल बीट लेस ऑल्सो बट द प्रोड्यूस विल बी लिटल बीट लेस प्रोड्यूस विल बी कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंगली लेस जर का एकदम टू बाय टू बाय टू मध्य जर का लगे दिस इज वॉट इज सेट टू बी गुड तुम्हारा वीड का पानी बरबर दयाजे फर्टिलाइजर वे वेट दयाजे एंटायर एसओपी विल गिव टू यू फॉलो दिस एसओपी देन द प्लांट विल बी वेरी सेफ ओके केतन सर एक अजुन क्वेश्चन होता कि प्रोपागेटिंग मटेरियल अपने सो सी सावड़ेकर सर है सगे एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी सगे प्रोफेसर्स है सो वॉट वील डू इज वी विल नॉट है प्रेसर ऑन द टिश्यू कल्चर लैब टिश्यू कल्चर लैब की कैपैसिटी सुधा थोड़ी लिमिटेड तुम्हारा जर का एक वर्षाला किसी सपोज जर का एक वर्षाला एक लाख प्लांट जर टिश्यू कल्चर लैबोरेटरी मन निगत एक लाख प्लांट जर का गए तो मैं फा फार्मर्स का देना नहीं तसा पे नहीं करना सो वॉट वील डू इज वी विल आस्क देम टू टेक हंड्रेड प्लांट्स ऑन एक्सपेरिमेंटल बेसिस हंड्रेड प्लांट्स टिश्यू कल्चर मैं क्या एक डेमो प्लॉट कर हंड्रेड प्लांट लगे मगे मैं संगित होता कि प्लांट पास अपू हंड्रेड तुम्हें कटिंग करू शता एट इंच नोडल कटिंग दैट कैन कम जस्ट विद इन टू टू थ्री मंथ्स फे आईबीएस सोल्यूशन मे टाकल कि रूटिंग हॉर्मोन जो रूटिंग मीडियम रेडिमेड पे आजकल मिलते वन थाउजंड पीपीएम सोल्यूशन मे आत टाइम प्रॉपर सॉइल फर्टिलाइजर सैंड मिक्सर जर का टाकल पानी पानी टाका शेड नेट खाली कि ग्रीन हाउस है ग्रीन हाउस कि नसेल तो कुछ कवर चांड सो द प्लांट विल बी रेडी विद इन नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी वन डेज जर शंबर प्लांट घर मल्टीप्लाइड बाय हंड्रेड सो युअर वन एकरेज विल बी इजीली डन इन टू दैट एंड देन दिस विल बी परपैचुअल सो इनिशियली विल वी टेल पीपल दैट यू टेक मे बी फाइव हंड्रेड प्लांट गो फॉर फाइव एकर्स सो दैट जे एक लाख प्लांट्स अपन टिश्यू कल्चर लैब मन प्रोड्यूस करते दोज कैन बी जुडिशियसली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड अमाउंग ऑल द फार्मर्स ऑल ओवर द कंट्री एंड देन यू हैव रियल वर्क टू डू ऑल थ्रू ऑल द सीजन ऑल द डेज ऑन युअर पास सो एक पास शंबर नर मे सेकंड फाइव इयर थर्ड फाइव इयर पर्यत जाऊ शो तीन वर्ष नर मैं का टाका पर नवीन स्टॉक घया पर का तुम्हें तो चांगला जनरेट करू शे पॉइल हिल्ड अल तो थोड़ा सा कमी होता कारण लीप तो साइज है और थर्ड फोर्थ जेव जनरेशन जब इट गोज ऑन so this is the simple technique got it yes sir thank you hello barve yes. sir mrunalini yeah uh, sir is there a requirement compulsory it is there like we should have a greenhouse because during uh, summer season uh, the amount of sun uh, sun you know the heat in konkan region is very high very high no no requirement of a greenhouse greenhouse is the full fledged greenhouse with foggers and then uh, टेम्परेचर कंट्रोल एंड ह्यूमिडिटी वगैरह फिर शेड नेट जरी सो यू कैन कल्टिवेट जे प्लांट्स प्लांट्स है नर्सरी जनरेशन सा जे लगते एक शेड नेट फिफ्टी पर्सेंट कट ऑफ लाइट जे करते शेड नेट सग बाजू जरा थोड़स बंद ह्यूमिडिटी का पर्सेटेज बयापी रहता है कोकण मे अदरवाइज ऑल्सो ऑल थ्रू एवरेज ह्यूमिडिटी सेवेंटी पर्सेंट प्लस विच इज सेट टू बी वेरी गुड फॉर पच्चोली अगेन द कंडीशन मैच कंडीशन इन इंडोनेशिया So I am just advocating this is the best plant for uh, co-country. 
सो गॉट इट सो डोंट गेट बॉक डाऊन बाय ऑल दो मगाचे मी सांगितलं हायटेक आणि हे एवढे इन्व्हेस्टमेंट आहे ग्रीन हाऊस मी करू शकणार नाही नंतर मग म्हणून मग हे आपण करू शकणार नाही असं नाही दिस इज व्हॉट इज पॉसिबल फॉर एव्हरी वन अँड देन वी हॅव ट्राय टू गिव्ह सोल्युशन टू एव्हरी अदर प्रॉब्लेम शेड नेट मे बी थ्री थाउजंड स्क्वेअर फीट एरिया जर का थोडीशी बाजूला केली आणि त्याच्यामध्ये यू कॅन ग्रो थाउजंड ऑफ प्लांट कल्टिवेट कल्चर म्हणजे बाय नर्सरी ओके दिस इज अगेन युअर स्किल्स अँड युअर ग्रीन थम्स अगेन कम टू दी सोल्युशन सो अजून काय कोणाचे शंका हॅलो सर हा हा सर विशाल ठेरे बोलतोय सर आगारोड आगारोड मध्ये नॅचरली फंगल इनॉक्युलेशन कसं करायचं आगारोड मध्ये नॅचरल फंगल इनॉक्युलेशन जर का करायचं असेल सो अगेन सो व्हॉट एव्हर आय एम टेलिंग यू सो दिस इज आय एम टेलिंग यू फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ ऑल अकॅडमी मोस्ट ऑफ टाइम पीपल से दॅट यू कॅन कल्टिवेट आगारोड इन कोकण but that will not yield the way that yields in uh, say assam kiwa southeast asia because it is naturally infected by the fungal consortium which consists of not one fungus but more than say mixture of 25 different fungus we are trying to isolate that and then now in market some of them even give you a ready made kind of a fungal inoculation for agarwood pan tyacha sathi jo agarwood cha to ek insect asto that insect also bores inside agarwood if all you are aware about that that is there in assam that is there in southeast asia that is almost like a termite and along with that termite if all there is a natural fungal infection of that consortia it grows inside the agarwood plant the plant will die and then all the terpenoid gets converted to that kind of resinoid which is there so it is possible but a uh, little bit difficult so we have done that uh, aga, uh, that uh, consortium of uh, agarwood fungus in our lab but what we have to do is we have to cultivate not naturally we have to really do bio transformation under bio reactor a proper bio reactor then we have to reculture with uh, fungal ca- consortium that grows and then the smell comes not as good as what is there in nature but it is uh, just matching this is what we are trying to really develop a technology which exactly matches it along with agarwood then it can be just uh, you grow the plant uh, take out the chopping and then put it to the bio reactor put uh, that consortium grow grow it together that uh, bio transformation product uh, will be uh, the agarwood that is not yet happening but you can uh, really do this research in your institute let us collaborate together but this is again a challenge in india and it grows in assam because i know number of people uh who are there in assam they grow in jungles and then they find out those trees cut the trees and sell where they it goes uh, in middle east maximum in middle east and uh, then i seen number of plantation sometimes you see that agarwood is threatened it is not threatened but uh, let me tell you that i seen plantations worth over 10 10000 agarwood plant each plant giving 2 liters of agarwood that makes 20000 crores of property in front of you how many years 3 years to 5 years down the line this is what is the repository which is existing in india let us really uh, do it in kokand not for agarwood but in pacholi and in other kind of crop okay uh, thank you sir so i think uh, puja puja hello sir huh? hello sir uh, my question was that uh, from where will i get the planting material for osimum sir osimum so osimum because sir. osimum is there osimum can be appropriate from simab but uh, here osimum which variety so uh, let us even try to see whether a little bit uh, initial kind of a planting material say around 100 200 plant that can be even arranged through a scientific research center that is uh, in mulun mumbai so but uh, okay. the major thing can come from simab they have almost uh, 23 different osimum varieties which are there and under aroma mission project this is what is really big government is also uh, initiating that such product will be produced and then uh, that can be even given buy back by a uh, good company so that is okay sir uh one more question was sir uh, what what will be the cost of uh, cultivation and also the outcome cost of cultivation if all uh, you see like uh, just now i was mentioning that cost of cultivation 
for uh, soil preparation and every other kind of thing including fertigation uh, the leveling bonding and then um, irrigation apart from uh, what we call it as drip it is somewhere around okay. 20 to 50000 rupees per year per acre and then if all you put maybe a good quantity good quality planting material 5 rupees per mm. plant so that is 50000 okay. around 70 to 80000 rupees you let to invest so you take 1 lakh rupees per year per acre you invest and then in turn you generate at almost 2 lakh rupees per year per acre but if all you are investing this much then you have to look after that every day one uh, visit to a field and then you have to see that 10% moisture in the soil exists then there is go on towards the uh, happening uh, what we call it as no round no worms are there no nematodes and no fungal infection which is there then the plants can survive those are the sturdy plant very sturdy aromatic plants are very sturdy okay sir yeah. okay thank you so much sir thank you हेलो यस अजून कोणाचे काय प्रश्न आहेत का अदरवाइज वी कम टू द हेलो हेलो या सर बेस्ड ऑन द सोइल क्वालिटी एंड टेक्सचर विल वी बी गाइडेड बाय द इंस्टिट्यूट ऑन हाउ टू चूज अ प्लांट या विल बी गाइडेड बट इन कोकण एवरीवेयर पचोली इज पॉसिबल एंड देन एवरीवेयर सिटोनल लेमन ग्रास इज पॉसिबल सो लेमन ग्रास बिकॉज़ इट इज सिंथेटिकली अवेलेबल so let us even grow citronella and patchouli that is the best kind of proposition for coconut so let us take and then commit ourselves that uh, let us do something uh, towards this so uh, when is the right time when we can visit right kerkar institute for this any time you can come tomorrow also just i am <laughs> <laughs> give me a okay. call avadika sir is uh, having my number okay sure oh, sir sir we have met earlier i was there at kerkar Perfect. institute for banana tissue oh, culture oh, oh. you were there so you know us Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Because because she was with us, so she knows our facility. <laughs> Then uh, with Savadeka, sir, we were discussing of handholding between uh, your uh, university and the college. So let us, sir, propagate. Maybe initially, let us have a modest target of hundred acres, and then let us see all those young people who are having uh, that much uh, kind of uh, questions, and uh, then they want to do something. So let us help them out. So let us have handholding. and then as we were discussing maybe banana tissue culture also we can revive there is a huge demand and huge demand for um, aromatic plants yes sir definitely thank you sir any uh, any still question from uh, student participant side otherwise i will have one question for whether yes sir uh, uh, certain species are endemic to the uh, regions so while cultivating such a type of support brahmi is there makai is there patchouli also you can take it is there so if uh, these species are there and these species get influenced by the climatic conditions also because of these fragrance of flavors these are the flavonoids and the secondary metabolites so uh, before going for the plantation whether you are going for the biochemical investigation that they will have this much amount of the active ingredient so sir uh, because uh, savadega is sitting so we can have uh, that kind of uh, molecular markers and then we have to select the varieties which could be a uh, very good it is snp marker based kind of uh, best selected varieties that can be even uh, produced uh, because uh, several varieties of endemic brahmi species as you are telling uh, for example uh, in kokan uh, very rich in garcinia also uh, um, but uh, maka is there also maka is also there but uh, all those uh, minor uh, medicinal plant the problem is uh, whether there is a guaranteed buyback or not but if all we have a molecular intervention in this uh, we have a tissue culture intervention but those can be easily grown by vegetative propagation but it has a tremendous proposition and then uh, the uh, national board of uh, medicinal aromatic plant again this is rather uh, the basic question instead of taking it from nature and instead of depleting the natural resources let us generate through our labs and through our nursery who have a very definite for example we have done that uh, molecular marker snp analysis of jetropha because uh, you know like uh, if all i do plant jetropha you plant any variety that doesn't yield uh, the best result uh, so we are doing it for costus which is said to be anti diabetic plant then uh, we will be doing it we are we already done it for uh, patchouli uh, those are uh, marked uh, varieties and then we are propagating so something like that can be done and there is a, the time is now just right 
If at all we wait for another five years, then it will be taken up by uh, somebody else in the world. Yes, thank you, sir. I think if, uh, no questions are there. Uh, I will uh, officially conclude the session by extending a word of thanks to our tourist orator. Uh, Baru sir, it was a very nice and excellent uh, oration which you have given. So we have enjoyed the fragrance and flavor of your lecture. <laughs> so, yeah. And furthermore, uh, uh, you have given the very nice clue that the species which are on the verge of extinction are to go by the zero innovative technique. You can culture these fragrant flavors of flavonoids in the lab also with the help of the uh, tissue culture technology. So students can take the clue and the cue that not all the way necessary that you go for the uh, field planting, but if you can uh, nurture and culture the these uh, uh, calluses or the calli in the your laboratory, that can be a good source of income for the uh, entrepreneur. So you can, uh, the mass can think over this particular, uh, your suggestion. And I think uh, it was a really a thought provoking and really you have sown the seeds of the entrepreneurship in the minds of the student. So sir, I am very thankful to you and I am thankful to your uh, uh, college uh, institute for sparing your time and especially to you also that despite of your uh, busy schedule, you have uh, given the time and given the nice oration on this particularly aromatic and the aromatic plants. So uh, I am thankful to you, your institute, our students once again, and I will uh, say that the today's session is over. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, Savadik, sir. And thank you, everyone. Sir, thank you very much for delivering this nice lecture. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Yeah, bye. Disconnecting. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, uh, dear participants, so tomorrow it is the 2nd October, that is uh, on the eve of the Gandhi Jayanti, there will be the holiday. So Saturday we will meet again. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you so Saturday much. Saturday at 10 o'clock we will meet again. Okay, sir. Bye. 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 Thank you.